All right, so this is the 2021 version of how to make a slideshow on your phone. Five years ago, I made a video that has now gotten almost 2 million views called how to make a slideshow on your phone. To this day, it's still the most popular video on Teach Mom How, but it's outdated. The app I used in it was called Adobe Clip and it doesn't exist anymore. So here's the updated version using Adobe Premiere Rush. This is the 21, 2021 version. Let's get started. The beautiful thing about Premiere Rush is that this is going to work on both your iPhone and your Android phone. So whichever you have, this tour, tutorial is applicable. You just need to download Premiere Rush and open it. Let's open it up. First time we open it, it asks us to access it, and it's going to ask us to log in. Okay, it might remember me logged in. Yep, it remembers that I'm logged in, that I logged in. So you, you'll probably, if this is the first time you're using it, you'll have to log in. You can log in using Google or Facebook or your Apple ID. Go ahead and get logged in, and then you'll see projects that I've already made. If you're first time using it, you won't have any projects here. Push this plus button to start a new project. Add the media. This is going to be much like iMovie, very similar to iMovie. I just happen to like iMovie a little bit better. But this one's great because it works on an Android. And then you're going to choose moments so we can choose the pictures that we want to put into our slideshow. Do a few pictures. Do a couple videos as well. Okay. And we'll call that good. Click or name the project, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name this test slideshow. Click return. Click create. All right. It's preparing my media. And just like iMovie, you're going to see everything thrown into the timeline. Everything's now in my video. I can push play and it's going to go through everything. I'm going to go through all my clips and pictures, okay? Oh, aha, I found it. Haha, <laughs> this is a new feature. Down at the bottom, okay, third from the left, you'll see this rectangle or this uh, either landscape or portrait picture. You click on that, and you can choose. This would be like a square video. This would be a 4 by 5 We're going to do 16 by 9 That's my favorite, okay? There we go. Now, if I like how it is, I'm good to go. But if I want to, um, by the way, you can zoom in by pinching your fingers so you can do more precise editing here. If I want to fix this like how it's cutting my wife's face off, I would click on this and I'd pinch this, okay? So I can pinch and turn this picture however I like. And it's going to change what we see there. Okay. Um, so I can adjust that there. I can do that with those other ones if I want to fix what it's showing. iMovie makes this much simpler, this editing part. Um, but this is a little trick. If you click on a app, or if you click on a photo and you click fill, it's going to fill the screen with it. Okay. Or... If you want the whole thing to fit on the screen, whether it fills it or not, you select it, and down here at the bottom left, you click Fit. Okay, that's the entire picture, and now the whole picture's on there. And then these are editing things where I can flip a picture. If it was backwards or upside down, I could flip it at the bottom. I could make it bigger by clicking on Scale Width, and that's going to make it bigger. Okay, and I can adjust the position of it with these. So play around with that. That's how you edit your pictures. And now when I get to the photos or the videos, I can edit them as well by clicking, by trimming it's called. Okay, so let me just zoom out a little bit. I can trim this by clicking the out point, the right or the left and making the clip longer or shorter. Can do that with all my videos. I can edit the audio of those if I choose to. And then one other cool thing here is I can add music to this. All right, let me show you where you add the music. You come back out of this, you push this plus button, and you choose what you want to add. Do you want to add media, 
um, which would be more clips, more video clips, or more uh, photos. If you want to add a graphic, let me show you how to do that. So in case you want to add a title, add. And click and drag this to wherever it is you want this graphic to be. We'll put it at the start of our video. Okay. We'll just name it fun. And then the subtitle will be YOLO. Click that check mark. And again, you can trim how long this is on the screen by clicking and dragging in and out points okay push play I can test this fun time YOLO here we go and then my video is playing now you can add more graphics of course again the way I got there is I clicked this back arrow here and then I clicked on the graphics tab and I chose whatever graphic I wanted to add by pushing that plus sign this is also how you would add transitions in between clips okay or overlays there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do here um, play around with it and have fun but let's say I want to transition between two clips I go to that point in the film I click add graphic and I choose the transition I want and I click add watch what this is gonna do for me watch how these two clips are gonna transition it's kinda cool boom star boom back to the next clip Okay, now I want to show you something you want to be aware of. Again, you pinch your fingers to zoom in and out on this. Okay. She's cut off because this was filmed in portrait and my video is landscape. Okay. So I want to click on this. Use my back arrow. Double click on that video and choose fit. Bottom left where it says fit. Choose fit. That puts the whole thing on the screen. Okay, so none of it's cut off. So let's see what that looks like now. So now you can see the whole video, even though it's in portrait, at least you can see it. Okay. There you go. Now let's add some music to this. Push this back arrow again and click on audio right here. Or back arrow, add audio you could also add a voiceover you probably saw that a voiceover is like you talking okay now it comes with some default um, royalty free music that's easy for you to use so that's the easiest option just choose something that sounds cool click add and now you got your music there now you can customize this music a little bit better than you can with uh, iMovie like iMovie you can only have one song for the whole video this one, I can have multiple songs, okay? Okay, so where this, this song's not long enough to cover my whole movie, I can go to the end, and I can down here at the bottom click audio again, and add another audio. Click add, choose audio, choose what song I want to add, click add. And now it added that song to the other layer. And let's see if that fills up my whole rest of my movie. Not quite. So if I want music on the whole thing, I'd have to add another one right here. Let me show you one more audio setting that you want to be aware of. If you double click on that audio clip, you have the option to do auto volume. What auto volume does is it's going to turn down the audio when there's people talking. When there's audio on your videos, it's going to automatically turn that down so you can hear the audio in your videos. If that's something, if that's a feature you want to have so that you can hear the audio in your video over the music, then you're going to want to have auto volume on. Okay. So there's our video. I can't play it with sound, unfortunately, because I'm recording. But you can see I've made my video. Now I'm ready to export this and upload it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to share it to. Oh, one more thing. People are always asking. How do you add a song from your phone? Now, one unfortunate limitation to this app that I have to point out because I get asked this weekly 
is how do I add my own music? You cannot, unfortunately, with this app. You need to use one of the other apps to add your own music because this app will not let you add it. You can only add, unless there's something I'm not aware of, if I find out, I'll, I'll tell you. But when you go to audio and you browse audio, your only options are these ones that these soundtracks and things that Premiere has placed here for you. They're royalty free music. So it's cool. It's cool because it's royalty free music. But on the other hand, you can't go to your music library and um, choose your own songs. So sorry about that. You'll have to find another app if you want to add your own music. But that's it. All right. We're now ready to export our video. This is really simple. The icon looks similar to all the other apps we've used. Top right corner, that up arrow in the box, you click that. And then you just push this blue export button. It's going to now export my video. Once it's done exporting, I can upload it to Facebook, YouTube, or wherever else you choose to share it. All right, we are done. And if you did this right and you flip, flip over to your photos gallery, go to your library. Down at the bottom, you'll see this new video that we made in Premiere Rush. And from here, we can share it to Facebook if we choose to. I'll show you that now. Okay, it finished exporting my video. Now if I flip over to my Photos app, <clears throat> go to my Photos app, go to All Photos, and down at the bottom you'll see this three-minute video. That's the slideshow that I just made. Again, there is music on it. You're just not hearing it because when I hook my camera up to record this or I hook my phone up to record this, it, it mutes the audio. So there you have it. That's the video. Now let's put this video onto Facebook and YouTube. So I'm going to click this share button right here. I'm going to go to Facebook. I'm going to choose whether I want it to be public or private. In this case, I'm going to put only me just because I don't want anyone to see this. This is just for to show you guys how to do this. You would want this to be at least where your friends can see it, I would guess. Um, write whatever you want to write about it. Click Next and share it. All right, I'm now uploading that to Facebook. As soon as it finishes, it'll process and then you'll be able to watch it on Facebook. All right, this is how you'll upload your video that you just made to YouTube. In this case, you're gonna have to go to the YouTube app on your phone. Hopefully I have it on my phone. You're gonna need to log in as whichever user you wanna be logged in as. And that'll work. Okay. Then you're going to click this little camera top right, click the camera, and choose upload video. Allow access to all your photos. Click OK. Okay. And find the slideshow we just made. You could trim it and edit it if you wanted to, but I'm going to put the whole thing up. Click next. And name it what you want to do it. Add a description that's relevant. Decide if you want it public, private, or unlisted. Comment below if you have questions about what those mean. And add it to a playlist if you choose to. Then you click Next. No, it's not for kids. Not that it's, this doesn't mean it's not for kids. This doesn't mean that it's like NC 17 or inappropriate. This just means I didn't make it specifically for kids. Click up. And now it's going to upload my video.